Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's important for your health, leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is a bacterial disease that can affect both humans and animals. In this video, we'll explore what causes leptospirosis, its symptoms, how to prevent it, and what to do if you or someone you know gets infected. So, let's get started. What is leptospirosis? Leptospirosis is a bacterial infectious disease caused by various strains of bacteria from the genus Leptospira. It primarily affects mammals, including humans, and is typically transmitted through contact with water, soil, or surfaces contaminated with the urine of infected animals, especially rodents and livestock. Leptospirosis can manifest with a wide range of symptoms, from mild flu-like symptoms to severe conditions involving organ failure. Brief History of Leptospirosis Discovery of Leptospira Bacteria Leptospirosis was first identified in the late 19th century. The spirochete bacterium Leptospira interrogans was first observed in the urine of a patient with clinical symptoms of the disease in 1886 by Dutch physician Adolf Weil. Consequently, leptospirosis was initially known as Weil's disease. Early research and identification of cerevars. In the early 20th century, it was soon recognized that there were multiple cerevars, strains, of leptospira, each associated with different animals and environmental reservoirs. This led to the understanding that the disease could be transmitted to humans through contact with contaminated water or soil. Global Recognition Leptospirosis gained global recognition as a zoonotic disease in the mid-20th century. Researchers identified the role of animals, particularly rodents, as carriers of the bacteria and recognized the importance of contaminated water sources in transmission. Modern Understanding Today, leptospirosis is considered a significant public health concern in many parts of the world, particularly in tropical and subtropical regions. About Causal Agent of Leptospirosis Leptospira is a genus of spiral-shaped bacteria known as spirochetes. Here is a brief overview of the structure and morphology of leptospira. Shape Leptospira bacteria are slender, flexible, and helical or spiral-shaped. They have a distinctive corkscrew appearance, which is a characteristic feature of spirochetes. Size Leptospira bacteria are relatively long and thin, with lengths ranging from about 6 to 20 micrometers and a diameter of around 0.1 micrometers. They are among the smallest spirochetes. Flagella Leptospira have periplasmic flagella, also known as axial filaments, which run lengthwise along the cell's interior. These flagella provide the bacteria with their distinctive spiral shape and motility. The corkscrew-like rotation of these flagella allows leptospira to move efficiently through viscous environments like blood and tissues. Outer Membrane the outer membrane of Leptospira contains various surface proteins and lipopolysaccharides LPS, that play a role in host interaction and immune evasion. These surface proteins are responsible for the bacteria's ability to attach to host tissues and cause infection. Endoflagella Leptospira has multiple endoflagella located in the periplasmic space. These endoflagella are responsible for the characteristic undulating or twisting movement of the bacteria, enabling them to penetrate tissues and navigate through host fluids. How Leptospirosis Transmits to Human Contact with Contaminated Water Leptospira bacteria can survive in water for extended periods. People can become infected when they swim, wade, or participate in water-related activities in bodies of water that have been contaminated with the urine of infected animals. Contact with Contaminated Soil Leptospirosis can also be contracted through direct contact with contaminated soil or mud. Individuals who work in agriculture, farming, or flood-prone areas are at a higher risk of exposure when their skin comes into contact with contaminated ground. Contact with infected animals. Handling or coming into contact with animals that carry the bacteria, such as rodents, rats, mice, livestock, cattle, pigs, or domestic animals, dogs, cattle, can lead to infection. The bacteria can be present in their urine, and people can get infected through contact with animal urine, tissues, or bodily fluids. Ingestion. Although less common, ingestion of food or water contaminated with leptospira can also result in infection. Mucous Membrane Contact In rare cases, transmission can occur through contact with mucous membranes, such as the eyes, nose, or mouth, if they come into contact with contaminated water or surfaces. This is more likely to happen when people engage in activities like washing their face with contaminated water. Open Wounds or Cuts Leptospirosis can also enter the body through open wounds or cuts if they come into contact with contaminated water or soil. It's important to note that human-to-human -human transmission of leptospirosis is extremely rare. How Leptospira Cause Disease, Pathogenicity in Human Infection Once inside the body, leptospira bacteria begin to multiply and establish an infection. They often enter the bloodstream and lymphatic system, allowing them to spread throughout the body. Dissemination Leptospira bacteria have a unique ability to penetrate and survive within various tissues and organs. 
They can target and colonize specific sites, particularly the kidneys, liver, and central nervous system. This localized colonization can lead to tissue damage and dysfunction in these organs. Immune Response As the body recognizes the presence of the invading bacteria, the immune system mounts an immune response. This involves the production of antibodies and activation of immune cells to try to eliminate the bacteria. Symptoms The symptoms of leptospirosis can vary widely, ranging from mild flu-like symptoms to severe cases involving organ failure. The severity of the disease depends on various factors, including the specific strain of leptospira, the individual's immune response, and the presence of underlying health conditions. Complications In many cases, the immune system successfully clears the infection, and the individual recovers from leptospirosis. However, in severe cases where the bacteria cause significant tissue damage or organ failure, the disease can be life-threatening. Prompt medical intervention with antibiotics is crucial to treat the infection effectively. It's important to note that not all individuals exposed to leptospira bacteria will develop symptoms or become seriously ill. Some may carry the bacteria without showing signs of infection. What are the symptoms of leptospirosis? The symptoms of leptospirosis can vary widely from mild to severe, and in some cases, individuals may not experience any symptoms at all. Fever. Leptospirosis often begins with a sudden high fever, which can be accompanied by chills. Muscle aches and pain. Severe muscle pain and tenderness, especially in the calves and lower back, are common symptoms. Headache. Individuals with leptospirosis may experience severe headaches, which can be a prominent symptom. Joint pain. Joint pain, or arthralgia, can also occur and may affect multiple joints in the body. Fatigue. Feeling extremely tired and fatigued is a common symptom of leptospirosis. Nausea and vomiting. Some individuals may experience nausea and may vomit as a result of the infection. Abdominal pain. Pain and discomfort in the abdomen can occur, often accompanied by tenderness. Diarrhea. In some cases, diarrhea may be present as a symptom of leptospirosis. Jaundice. Jaundice is a yellowing of the skin in the whites of the eyes, which can be a sign of liver involvement in severe cases. Rash. A rash may develop in some individuals, which can vary in appearance from small red spots to more widespread skin involvement. Cough. A dry cough may be present in some cases. Eye redness. Redness of the eyes, also known as conjunctival suffusion, can occur. It's important to note that leptospirosis can progress to more severe forms, especially if left untreated. Severe cases may involve organ dysfunction, such as kidney and liver failure, pulmonary hemorrhage, bleeding in the lungs, and meningitis, inflammation of the membranes around the brain and spinal cord. These severe forms of leptospirosis can be life-threatening. How to diagnose leptospirosis? Clinical assessment. A healthcare provider will start by conducting a thorough physical examination and taking a detailed medical history. They will inquire about recent exposure to risk factors, such as contact with contaminated water, soil, animals, or travel to areas where leptospirosis is prevalent. Symptoms. The presence of typical symptoms, such as fever, muscle pain, headache, and jaundice, may raise suspicion of leptospirosis. Serology. Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA, and microscopic agglutination test, MAT, can detect antibodies produced by the body in response to leptospira infection. PCR. Polymerase chain reaction. This molecular test can detect the presence of leptospira DNA in blood or other bodily fluids. Blood cultures. Although less common, culturing blood samples to isolate the bacteria can be done in specialized laboratories. Urine tests. Leptospira bacteria can be shed in the urine of infected individuals. Urine tests, such as PCR or culture, can detect the presence of the bacteria in urine samples. CSF analysis. In cases where there is suspicion of central nervous system involvement, cerebrospinal fluid CSF, analysis may be performed to check for signs of inflammation in the presence of leptospira. Imaging. In severe cases or when complications are suspected, medical imaging studies like chest x-rays may be conducted to assess lung involvement or other organ damage. What are the treatments for leptospirosis? Doxycycline. This antibiotic is often used to treat mild to moderate cases of leptospirosis. It is typically taken orally and is effective against a wide range of leptospira strains. Penicillin G. In more severe cases or cases with central nervous system involvement, intravenous, IV, penicillin G may be used. Other antibiotics like ceftriaxone or cefotaxime may also be considered. Supportive care. Supportive care is important to manage symptoms and complications associated with leptospirosis. This may include hydration to manage electrolyte imbalances and pain management. Hospitalization. Severe cases of leptospirosis, particularly those with organ failure or complications, may require hospitalization. In the hospital, individuals can receive more intensive monitoring and supportive care. 
How to prevent leptospirosis. Avoid contact with contaminated water and soil. Avoid swimming or wading in bodies of water that may be contaminated with urine from infected animals, such as rivers, lakes, ponds, and floodwaters. Protective clothing. If you must work or spend time in environments where exposure to contaminated water or soil is possible, wear protective clothing such as boots, gloves, and waterproof clothing to minimize skin contact. Footwear. Wear sturdy footwear to protect your feet from contaminated soil or mud, especially if you are walking in areas where leptospirosis is a concern. Rodent control. Implement measures to control rodents, which are common carriers of leptospira. This includes practicing good sanitation, sealing cracks and holes in buildings, and using traps or other rodent control methods. Pet and livestock hygiene. Ensure that pets and livestock are kept in a clean and hygienic environment. Consult with a veterinarian about vaccinating pets and livestock against leptospirosis if recommended in your area. Personal hygiene. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and clean water after handling animals, especially if you suspect they may be infected. Safe food and water. Consume safe and clean food and water. Avoiding high-risk activities. Refrain from participating in activities that involve contact with potentially contaminated environments if you have open wounds or cuts. Vaccination, if available. In areas where leptospirosis is prevalent and vaccination is available, consider getting vaccinated, especially if you are at a higher risk due to occupational exposure or frequent outdoor activities. Awareness and education. Stay informed about the risk of leptospirosis in your region. Conclusion. Leptospirosis is a serious disease, but with the right knowledge and precautions, we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content.